y'all welcome back to the channel it's your girl kayla here thank you all so much for clicking on today's video so you guys right now i'm actually at the salvation army and we are about to go in here and do some volunteer work as you can see from the title i'm bringing you guys along for a few cozy christmas days in my life and this is one of the first things that we're going to be doing together recently marcus and i we did a whole angel tree donation for two kids and so all of that was really fun but i wanted to do more so i found out that i could volunteer at the salvation army and help with toy distribution so that's where i am right now and that's what we're going to be doing in addition to that we have so many other things that i want to get done in this vlog like taking out these braids i have p.o box packages open from you guys marcus and i have some Christmas activities you want to do. We're going on a really fun date this weekend to a pottery class and we're going to be making Christmas trees. What else? I have some Christmas baking projects that I want to do and I have a lot of gifts to wrap. Not a lot, but a few. So if you want to see all those things, then just stay tuned. But let's go in here and begin our volunteer work. I have not volunteered in a very long time. And I found this opportunity on the Salvation Army website. Also, I'm filming on a new camera. Canon sent me the camera that I'm filming with right now. It is so cute and that's what I'm using. So if you guys like the angle and everything, you gotta let me know. It's so easy to film with. some angel tree stuff and now I'm about to make little food baggies so I need to make about 10 bags of stuff Okay y'all, so it is much later in the day now from when y'all saw me earlier at the Salvation Army when I was volunteering. I just had to come home and get a lot of computer work done, working on Marcus's Christmas gift and then some other stuff. So now I wanna go ahead and cook dinner and I'm thinking I'm gonna make fried shrimp with french fries. I think that'll be super yummy. And then also I think it'll be nice to go ahead and make a sweet treat. So I think I wanna do some peppermint bark. I think that'll be really yummy. And then we also have plans to decorate our nutcrackers tonight. So let me show you guys what those look like. Hey little girl. So I didn't realize that we bought two different ones, but here's one right here. And then this is the other one. So cute. So I've never actually made french fries from scratch before. And tonight I'll be making them from scratch. So I'm really excited about that. Okay y'all, so I'm gonna make sweet potato and just like regular potatoes. First things first, I'm just gonna go ahead and peel the potato. I looked up a recipe, and you're actually supposed to soak the potatoes in cold water before you fry them. I had no idea. And they need to be double fried, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get these cut up. And I think it'd be nice to like leave the skin on a few of them, you know? Like they don't have to be completely completely naked. Cooking this year has been something that I've really enjoyed and I can't wait to continue like growing my skills as a cook in 2024. But I've definitely gotten a lot more comfortable in the kitchen this year and just taking leaps and doing my own thing sometimes instead of following a real recipe and making things I've never made before. So it's been really fun and I feel like it's helped us save a lot of money. Okay, so we have two potatoes. I don't know how many french fries this is gonna make. Hopefully it's enough for the both of us, but also hopefully it's not too much. And then I'm gonna do one sweet potato because Marcus really likes sweet potato fries. I got this little crinkle cutter off of Timu and I'm finally just getting the chance to use it. But this is what it looks like and it's supposed to make little crinkle 
cut shape. So let's hope that it does that. But I think I need to cut these up a little bit first. All right, y'all, so Mark is at the takeover doing the sweet potato ones because they are, it's like really hard to cut using the little tool I got from Timu. So anywho, this is what we are working with right now. You have to soak them in cold water. It says for an hour, preferably overnight, but we ain't got time for all of that. So we're just gonna do it for an hour and I'm gonna pop these in the fridge to just increase the coldness because the colder they are, the crispier they will be. So while we're waiting on the french fries to cool and get more crispy in the fridge, we're gonna pause on dinner and begin working on our cute little nutcrackers. So I'm gonna let Marcus pick which one he wants and then this is going to be a competition. I guess that spring and summer, they're all fine. But I've been waiting for the season that's mine. So let it come. You let it come. I can see the snowflakes fall. I can hear the sleigh bells call. They're saying it's time to have a merry holiday. What a feeling, now it's time. Okay y'all, so this is what mine is looking like. And as you can see, we have two minutes left on the timer. Alexa, stop. But we're gonna add additional time because this is what Marcus is looking like. Can I tilt it this way real quick? And yeah, looking good, but we both need more time so i'll update you guys when they are all complete all right y'all we just finished up our nutcrackers we ended up taking a little bit more time we added on an additional 20 minutes to the timer making it an hour that we spent on this craft and she's not gonna talk about how she cheated she was putting olive oil on her thing when the timer <laughs> went off and then when i grabbed her hands to stop it she said stop babe stop i gotta do it <laughs> I got footage proof too. Video evidence. Well, this, all of which he said is true. The timer did go off, but I had to go ahead and it wasn't paying. I just had to polish them. Let me show y'all actually. So these are our finished nutcrackers. They look so good. <laughs> you guys gotta let us know down in the comments which one you like best. Either my nutcracker or Marcus's nutcracker. Okay, this needs to be changed. Alexa, how many more days are there until Christmas? Christmas Day is in 13 days on Monday, December 20th. Oh my gosh. You guys, already 13 days until Christmas? Can you guys believe it? 
time. It's fine. Let me, let me put those back there. Oh, <laughs> 23. There we go. 13. Okay, we took way more time than we were supposed to on that. So I'm actually now just about to begin cooking. So the shrimp, I'm gonna use this fish fry mix and put them in a little baggie. But the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is so according to the recipe I use, it says I need to pat these dry. The snow is falling down. I'm gonna go ahead and like put my fries the in. Storm is on its way. They're already making the sounds I like to hear. All I wanna do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Christmas. So the shrimp is done and I've just put, ow, burnt myself, ow. The woes of frying things in grease, right? Anyway, I just did a second fry on the french fries I'm taking out right now and they do look a whole lot more golden. And they do look a lot crispier too. So I'm thinking the whole double fry strategy worked here we go so for example this is a fry that like hasn't been double fried i'm gonna leave these ones in a little bit longer to see if they get crispier this time okay let's try the second batch so y'all yeah, i'm gonna eat and that'll probably be the end of day one of the vlog but i'll see you guys in the morning I've been making Marchi her own like gourmet, homemade food. Before this, we exclusively were using the farmer's dog, but Marchi, with that food, was like a hit or miss sometimes. I know she liked the food, but she wasn't always as excited to eat it. So I was like, let me try to make her own food. So here in this mix that I did for her, we have carrots, we have sweet potato, we have regular potato, but just a little bit. Apples, ground turkey, and string beans. And she loves it so, so, so much, which makes me really, really happy. I have to put it in like a slow feeder bowl because if I don't, she'll gobble it down and that's not really good for her to eat so quickly. Um, so yeah. This is her breakfast, and then she has some water as well that she's gonna get. Item also just arrived. You guys love the ceramic spoon. Let's see what's in here. Aww. Okay, this is really late as well. This is a pumpkin jar. This totally missed the season. Like, not even close, but it's so cute.
Okay, y'all, so I'm almost done getting ready for the day. I did my eyebrows, washed my face, all of that, and now I'm getting ready to do my mascara. You guys, this is my favorite mascara, and it's from Thrive Cosmetics, and I wanna thank Thrive Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. Just in case you haven't heard of them, Thrive Cosmetics is certified 100% vegan. Their products are animal cruelty-free, and they offer a lot of different makeup products that are made with high-quality, clean, ingredients that your skin will love and on top of all of that for every product purchase thrive cosmetics donates products and funds to help communities in need like i said this is my favorite mascara and it's the liquid lash extensions it is amazing and i think i love it so much because not only is it like really easy to apply but also it comes off easily as well all you need is warm water to take it off and i feel like it also does a really great job of lengthening my lashes so right now i don't have on any mascara yet so I'm just gonna pop this on really quick and then I'm gonna show you guys the results I love this formula so much because it definitely lengthens my short lashes and it lasts all day without smudging flaking or clumping it also contains nourishing ingredients to support longer healthier lashes so again, you guys, this is the final results using my Thrive Cosmetics mascara, and I feel like it looks really, really good. You guys can cozy up your look with Thrive Cosmetics, luxury beauty that gives back. Right now, you guys can get an exclusive 20% off your first order at thrivecosmetics.com slash YLB. That's Thrive Cosmetics, C-A-U-S-E-M-E-T-I-C-S.com slash YLB for 20% off your first order. And now, you guys, Let's keep moving along with the weekly vlog. All right, good morning, y'all. So, you guys did not see me for the rest of yesterday because I got a massive headache and I was just out of commission for the rest of the night. But right now, you guys, I am making Marshy's meals. Happy Christmas, Happy Hey y'all, so right here is all of the beef that I made. I did 80% lean and then like 90% lean beef. So I'm gonna put that in here. It smells really fragrant. You know what, I should've took, let me take this off. So last time I made her food, I didn't make it like this. I kinda like blended everything up in the blender. And this time I was like, well let me try to do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna do some of this in there. I think I'm going to just do a little bit right now and then see what it's looking like before I add in all of my vegetables and stuff. Come in, I know the sad is coming. Is coming. I know, I know. Marshy's ball and I'm about to let her test a little bit of it to make sure that she'll eat it. So I'm about to just give her like a little sample of it about this much. About that much to see if she likes it. This is the moment of truth, you guys. Okay. Sit. Stay. Take it. Rishi, do you like it? Okay, great. Okay, so it's safe to say that she loves it. So now I'm gonna portion it out into these little baggies right here.
So I got all of the little baggies made and this made like a week's worth of food. So each baggie is for one day, breakfast and dinner. Homemade dog food, yay! All right, y'all, so I've been doing a lot of computer work today because I have to work on a few gift guides that I'm doing with Magic Links. So I'll go ahead and share those with you guys now because everything I selected, you should be able to get it before Christmas. That was my goal. I made one for teachers and then I made one for her. And honestly, y'all, a lot of this stuff that I put on this list are things that I would like for Christmas too. So if you're shopping for somebody else, you know, these, I think these are just like good things. Okay, you guys, so here is the first gift guide. A lot of these things I have on here are things, like I said, I want for myself, but I also feel like they would make really, really phenomenal gifts. So we have this Dutch oven from Walmart. It's in the cute little shape of a heart. I think that's so cute. We have this blender right here, a tea kettle, a perfume set a hair styler, Apple headphones, and this nugget ice maker. So many fun things. And when you click on the link, which I will leave in the description box of this video, it's gonna take you to the page that looks like this, my holiday gift guide through Magic Links. And you'll just be able to click on the items that you know, you wanna learn more about or you potentially wanna purchase. So let's say you really liked this kettle. Click on the link. It'll take you to the page and then you know you can see the different colors it comes in. Ooh, the black is kind of cute, the gold, so nice. And it's $30 as well. And then I also made one for teachers because you guys know I was in the classroom so I know exactly what teachers need and might be looking for, gifts that they'll actually use. And this whole gift guide, it's under $10. So you have a, a mug warmer, a wax melter, a fanny pack, gift cards, um, more markers and pens and a cute little initial mug and so I'll have this one linked down below too But if you just keep scrolling on the first link It's all right here as well as the other gift guides that I posted previously all my gift guides live right here All right, good morning y'all so we are on our way to our pottery class really excited Marcus made us some breakfast so we wouldn't be too hungry, but we are running late so I'll chat with you guys when we get there We here. This is my sister's yarn. It's so pretty. I have everything linked down below, you guys. But we just bought some of these um, bath bombs and their soaps. They smell so good. And then over here, my mom has a lot of her antiques and her jewelry is so pretty. 
a lot of like vintage Christmas jewelry. I personally really like these and these little bells are so cute. Oh my gosh, look at these. These are so fun. And lots of bags. Okay y'all, so we just finished um, at the market with my mom and sister and now we are about to get some pizza at the Lady House, which I'm, I don't know, like I was craving pizza a little bit. So here we are right here. Okay, y'all, so I made it back home and now it's time to make some chocolate bark. I've been wanting to make this like almost all week now, so it is beyond time. I'm gonna set my oven to 175 degrees and we are about to get it cracking. It's gonna be so yummy. I have chocolate bark every single year, but this will be my first time like making it. This is the chocolate that I have. I have some lint. Classic recipe and lint is probably in the Ghirardelli. I'm probably saying things all wrong, but these are some of my favorite chocolate brands. I've never tried this one here, Hershey's Special Dark, so I hope it's good. And then we have some little white melting wafers. So we're gonna see how this turns out, you guys. So now that I have that down, I'm going to go ahead and open up all my chocolates. what it looks like and I'm about to go ahead and put it in the oven so now I gotta move quick because I just realized that this only needs to be in there for five minutes so I need to hurry up and break up all my peppermint pieces to go on top of the bar Ooh, it looks so pretty. Wow, it looks so good. I think that was how it was done. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And honestly, oops. Okay, those did not melt. These did not melt at all. That's okay. So those were baking chips, so maybe they needed more time. Oh. So now I'm gonna put on my peppermint pieces. Now the peppermint bark is in the refrigerator. It's cooling until the chocolate sets again and hardens. So once that's done, I'll bring it out. We'll break it up and plate it. But I think now I'm just gonna clean up a little bit and then I'll talk to you guys. Soon. Okay, you guys, so now I'm about to wrap up some gifts that we got for our nephews. So we have this really cute Naruto ramen bowl for one of my nephews. And then this cool Minecraft piggy bank for the other one. And we even had a Harry Potter puzzle that is for them as well, but I cannot seem to find it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap these up and these will be our first presents under the tree. Cause right now we don't have any presents under the tree and they're currently only nine days to Christmas. Yeah, yeah. All done with 
the two gifts and I realized I don't have any bows or tags to write to or from. So I might print some out real quick so that way I won't forget who these belong to. <laughs> Okay, you guys, the peppermint bark is ready. I just took it out the fridge. And this is what it looks like currently. It's hard and it's cured, so I'm gonna go ahead and break it up now. A taste test let's see how yummy it is I'm gonna try this piece this is the piece I'm about to try it's good it's good it's just like it needs more peppermint it's really nice it's like melting in our mouth I think I need to put it in the fridge for a little bit longer if you guys make this definitely put a lot more peppermint than I do Okay, y'all, so we finally are about to begin taking out these braids. I've had them in for a little over a month because I got them done November 8th, and it's December 16th today. So it's time to take these babies out. They have ran their course. They were nice for while I had them, but it is time for them to come out. I have quite a bit of new growth and I actually cut my hair Marcus and I cut it ourselves so like right here uh, right underneath my chin before I put these in so I'm excited to see how much it's grown And just like that, all of the braids are out. And the main reason I picked this out was because I knew it wouldn't take long and also I knew that it wouldn't be like that difficult to take out. Because if you know, you know, taking out braids is, can be a long process. So Marcus helped me as you guys saw and we got out all the braids. The root, there's like, um, like you see these parts like dandruff and stuff so I'm gonna wash it and get it nice and clean but I feel so much freer like this whole bag of hair is on my head now it's not so I can't wait to get it nice and clean I bought all new products to wash my hair from the main choice those are my OG products I'm going back to OG because the Shea Moisture products I was using I feel like they really didn't do a good job of making my hair feel moisturized so I was like I didn't used to have this problem before what was I using in 2020 and it was the main choice so hopefully the formula is still the same after all these years and I'm gonna give that a go because my hair never has felt the same way it's felt since then but you know it's like the reason I never switched back was because you know how you buy a product, you kind of want to use it up until you buy a new shampoo? Well, that's what I was trying to do because at one point, I had so many natural hair products, like a plethora, and I was only using a few things. So I told myself, I'm never going to get to that point again where I have all these hair products that I don't use. Like, I don't need a stash. Um, so I'm going back to the basics, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna end off today's video with opening up some P.O. Box packages from you guys. Thank you guys so much for sending things to my P.O. Box. It is listed down below in the description box of every single video, and once I get a few, I like to open them up. Also, my hair, this is how it turned out, y'all. I twisted it up, and of course, it's like shrunk in even more, but I feel like it's so cute, and I want to leave it like this a few, for a few days before I take out and do like a whole twist out situation. But I can see like where 
my breakages if you guys look at this little piece compared to like you know this one where the ends are curling up on their own so I had to bend you not that one though so that's why it's like sitting up there but I'm just gonna tuck it behind my ear so anyways let's start off with a card and this is coming from Daisy out of Virginia Wow. Oh, keep up the good work. Congratulations and many more blessings to you from Daisy. When others are happy, be happy with them. Romans 12, 15. This is so sweet. Thank you so much. And she wrote me another note. It says, hello, Kayla. Just want you to know that I am now subscribed to your YouTube channel. So therefore, I am keeping up with your videos. You were doing an excellent job, you and your husband. I admire how you and him did such a great job on fixing up your house. That is dynamic for such a young couple. Your work is done so well that I would love to see you and your husband go into a small business doing home improvement. We would love that too. <laughs> I just think that you both would do a great job in home improvement. You two are definitely a team and it is so amazing at what you all know how to do when it comes to fixing up a house. And you Kayla are a jack of all trades. You have several talents and I'm sure that you have some gifts as well. So keep up the good work that you and your husband are doing. It's amazing. So I hope these words find you well when you receive them so you and your husband continue to be blessed. Hope you like the card. I love the card and I love this note. Daisy, thank you so much. This is so sweet and so thoughtful because a lot of things you said in this note are things that I've been thinking about and praying for. So thank you it means it means a lot okay you guys our next one is coming from glam boutique handmade soaps out of hampton virginia i love the packaging it's so cute Ooh, okay that's so pretty it says, we love watching your DIY projects and cute decor videos. Please enjoy our handmade soaps while you unwind from all your young lady business. Oh, that's so cute. Best regards and thanks again, Ebony Taylor, founder and CEO. Oh, how sweetie. How sweet is that? Okay, I'm already smelling some good things in this box. It's very fragrant. So this soap right here, just Noor. Let's open her up and see what it smells like. It already smells really good. Ooh, I see like oatmeal in here. Mmm, smells really great, you guys. This is what it looks like. Okay, and then we have another one. Glamorous Noir Hand Soap. Well, I'm not sure what the name of this one is. Oops. Ooh, but it's gorgeous. Very beautiful. Mmm, this one smells really clean and fresh. I'm really, I really like this one too. And then we have one more, a loofah bar, which I love the lo good loofah. Ooh, with the soap. Oh, that's nice. You get the scrub-a-dub-dub -dub going, and then on the back is the soap. That is awesome. So creative. All right, and down here, she has like a brochure as well, so you can learn more about the soaps. Oh, and she also gave me like all the ingredients that are in these soaps as well as a QR code and her business card you guys so if you want to shop free shipping on orders $100 or more this is easy access to her website you can scan that QR code and it'll take you to her website and in this brochure that I had mentioned before oh okay it's showing up like all the bars Glamorous Noir, Just Noir, and Lufa Bars. So this is a full ingredient of list. So this is like a full brochure of everything that she sent me. Thank you so much, Ebony. This is so thoughtful and so cute, your business. I, I love the packaging, the vibes, and girl, it smells really, really good. So 
thank you so so much and here is our next package it's from rumulations llc out of virginia and it's addressed to me and marcus so i'm gonna go ahead and open this baby up i guess i'm gonna start from here your rum cake solution white velvet rum cake oh my gosh there was cakes in here oh my gosh you guys they actually still look good but I've had this package for quite a while like a few weeks now oh my gosh she sent me rum cakes rum pineapple cake oh my goodness i feel so terrible i'm going on your website and i'm about to order some so i can try these fresh oh my gosh this is amaretto rum cake oh wow y'all they still look so cute but i didn't know they were here okay here's a card kayla and marcus thank you it says hi kayla and marcus i enjoy watching your youtube videos especially when i am at work i am a baker in my brother's business so long hours here are a few treats for you oh here are a few treats for you guys hope you enjoy also happy belated anniversary you guys got married on my mother's birthday keep up the good work yours truly no young lady and young man all the best sophie sophie oh my gosh sophie sent me so many cakes coconut rum cake butter rum and caramel rum cake and chocolate chip rum cake i feel so terrible the way i'm about to go on the website right now you guys here's the website rumulations or I, i'm saying rumulations it's probably rum rum lucians rum rum lucians i'm thinking it'd be rum lucians your rum cake solution rum lucians okay now i'm saying it right rum lucians.com y'all Oh my gosh, this is chocolate coconut rum cake. Mm. I'm tempted to eat it, but it's been a while. It's been a while to the point where I don't know. I don't know. But oh my gosh, Sophie, thank you so much. You, you guys will be seeing an order for me very soon. Because this type of, like, I am just so thankful. Thank you so much. All right, so that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope y'all really enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.